Today, I'm going to show you how to make classic chicken noodle soup. It's the perfect comforting meal when you want something hot or you need a little extra nourishment when you're feeling under the weather. My version uses simple techniques to elevate the flavor compared to those salty store-bought versions. Lean white meat is typically used for chicken noodle soup, but let's be honest, it could be a little bit bland. Instead, I use bone-in chicken breast with the skin on. That little bit of extra fat is going to be so much more flavorful, which is always a good thing. And when we brown and simmer the bones, it's going to add depth to the soup, and that extra connective tissue is going to add body and richness. We're going to season the chicken with a little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. This is two and a half pounds of chicken. The great thing about this cut too is that it's really affordable. It's about half the cost of boneless chicken breasts. To add more flavor to the soup base, I'm gonna prepare a classic French mirepoix, which is a combination of onions, celery, and carrots. I'm gonna start by cutting the onions, cutting off the root end and the top of the bulb and dice them into about a half inch dice. For the celery, we're going to cut them into a quarter inch size pieces and about one cup for the recipe. Now I'm going to peel and chop the carrots. If you don't feel like peeling, it's okay. It just makes it a little bit prettier. We need two cups of carrots and I'm going to cut them into a quarter inch thick slices. The smaller you cut the vegetables, the more flavor will infuse into the soup. And since we're not cooking the soup very long, this size is perfect. And if you have bigger pieces like this, you can cut them in half. We want them to be able to fit onto the spoon. Now that we have all the vegetables and the chicken prepped, let's head over to the stove. Heat a large pot or Dutch oven over medium heat. Add one tablespoon of olive oil, and once hot, place the chicken skin side down. Cook until the skin is golden brown, about six to eight minutes. Flip the chicken and cook until the bones are browned, about five minutes, then transfer it to a plate. There should be about one tablespoon of drippings in the pan. Searing the chicken skin is going to add nice brown color and more flavor to the surface, similar to searing a steak. Also, there's going to be fond on the bottom of the pan, which is going to infuse into the soup. We flip the chicken over and then brown the bones. That browning of the bones is gonna add some depth to the soup. And also, there's a lot of cartilage and connective tissue, which is gonna turn from collagen into gelatin. And that's gonna add that body. Okay, we sear the chicken on the bottom for about five minutes and then we transfer it to a clean plate. Now I'm going to saute the vegetables. Add one tablespoon of olive oil to the pan and heat over medium heat. Add two cups of diced onions, then stir and cook until softened and lightly browned, about five minutes. Add one cup of celery and cook for three minutes. Add two cups of sliced carrots and cook for two minutes. Sauteing the vegetables is going to tame any of those harsh sulfurous notes in the onion. And as the moisture evaporates from the vegetables, the vegetables are gonna to start to taste sweeter because they're going to caramelize on the surface. It's gonna make the soup taste amazing. Add one tablespoon of minced garlic, one and a half teaspoons of thyme, and one teaspoon chopped rosemary. Stir and cook for 30 seconds. Add one teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Stir to combine. We want to saute the herbs like the thyme and the rosemary in the olive oil. What it's going to do is it's going to release the fat soluble flavors into the oil so that the soup is more herbaceous and flavorful. This technique is called blooming. 
Add the chicken back to the pan, skin side up. Add two bay leaves and eight cups of chicken stock. Bring the liquid to a boil, cover and simmer over medium low heat. Reduce the heat if needed to keep the stock at a simmer. Ooh, this looks good. Now don't forget to remove the bay leaves because they're not edible. And then we're going to take the chicken out of the pot and check for the temperature. Check in the thickest part of the breast and make sure you avoid the bone. Okay, we're looking for 160 degrees. Looks, looks good. Okay. I'm going to let the chicken cool down a little bit and then we're going to go shred it over at the cutting board. We're going to remove the skin. Just pull it away from the meat. Now we are going to just pull the meat away from the carcass and the bone. The chicken might be still really hot inside, so make sure to use tongs. Now you have other options for the type of chicken you can use. If you like dark meat, definitely use bone in thighs and you can keep the skin on those too. But I like to cut away some of the excess skin and fat because the thighs tend to be a lot more fatty than the white meat. You could also use boneless chicken, but it's not gonna be as flavorful, but it will be a quicker option. So make sure you check the temperature a little bit sooner. When the meat's not attached to the bone, it cooks a lot faster. Okay, now time to shred the chicken. Use two forks. You want bite-sized pieces, so it fits nicely on the spoon. You know, I've also found that cooking chicken on the bone is gonna prevent that chicken from getting as dry. The bone acts as a little bit of an insulator and prevents the chicken from cooking too quickly or getting too hot, which is perfect when you're making a soup. Wide egg noodles are the pasta of choice for chicken noodle soup. It has a flat surface area, so it's gonna cook very quickly. But really, you can use any small type of pasta like ditalini, elbows, shells, or even orzo. I'm gonna cook the pasta in the same pot because it has all of that flavorful chicken stock and you don't need to break out another pot for boiling. Add six ounces of wide egg noodles. Stir and cook until tender about five to seven minutes. Turn off the heat. Add the shredded chicken back to the pan and allow it to warm for a few minutes. Taste and season with salt and pepper as desired. Wow, this looks so cozy and comforting. Right before I serve, I like to garnish with some freshly chopped parsley and a little bit more black pepper. This recipe is great to make ahead of time. You can portion it out and refrigerate it for the week or even freeze it. And you know what, when I have leftovers, I like to add some fresh spinach or kale and just let it wilt in the soup for a little extra nutrient boost. And if you're interested, you can make my whole roasted chicken recipe and you'll have plenty of leftovers to use for the soup. It definitely makes the recipe a lot quicker. I hope you enjoyed the science behind chicken noodle soup. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot when you do. See you in the next video. Oh, the aromas are so amazing. This is gonna be good.